socks for Santa. A boy called George had a magical plan. On Christmas Eve, Frosty is bright. Santa is rock fighting every year. He stayed gift to Santa by night. George built a sledge and a stairs gave gifts and wrapped them in a box and dug it in a backpack and fill it with his hat and he threw in some spells and socks. George tried to reverse it and work in North Pole, but he said that it was to go. Then it pulled its shadowly figure ahead. Was it Santa? Yes, but made of snow. From behind the huge snowman, two bears peeped at George, and their faces were furry and white. They suddenly skipped the fur for the snow and called for time for a fun so snowball fight. The polar back up George. Why are you here? And looking for Santa, George said. I carry you there, said the kind mother bear, and the word no pull with a speed. They stopped at a workshop with socks and trees. The twinkly lights showered a path through the snow. The door slowly opened and someone appeared. There was a little old Oh no! What's the matter? asked George. And the girls were surprised. The elf mom was a bit terribly late. There's still a huge stack of toys on the rock. Santa's ready in Christmas can't wait. We can help you, said George, and roll out the sleeves and stand down to wrap up toys. The polar bears tied off the ribbons and bows. As they finished, an elf danced with joy. Thanks said the elf, and the jumped like the shift. With your help, life is good. We're ready. George cheered Merry Christmas and passed around sweet. The hand is a bit cup of teddy. Come this way, the elf as they opened the door. George tried to book and choose to it. Santa appeared as a present, he called. Then stop and I heard a, 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 a chew. Dear Rilla, said George, and be it not of the hand, that's true, and my note has stopped glowing. I sent a noise later and the lines were over and I'm doing. Don't worry, cried John, I would believe. I've got a torch here you all can wear. But then as the rain that pulled in the box and George looked round and grounded in spare. My presents for Santa, cried George. They are all gone. Perhaps we shall back up and go. He picked up his back and pulled off his hat, and just then he heard, Oh, ho, 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 said Santa, he gasped, George, I brought you some cubes, I just give a last away on the way, that's the spirit of Christmas, said Santa with joy, could you have killed to harvest my sleigh? Santa's grabbed his grab comb to belong to top. I need you to keep warm to snow. He sat on the stool and pulled and sock. But then out the hole poured the toy. No my boy for freeze, said the Santa inside. That was George in a brilliant idea. He took the delight in his bag. He will have my spare socks, said, he said. Yeah. With cozy and sweet, Santa climbed in cell and called George as Christmas Eve. Will you help me deliver my 
to a surround of world. We'll see wonders you never believe. So George jumped in the sleigh and he held both the sack and ring the blue light. It was a watch they were off with a bright, starry sky, all magical, sparkling night.